Hey there, today we're going to travel back in time and meet one of our ancient ancestors, Homo habilis. So grab your virtual time machine and let's go. When Homo habilis lived a long, long time ago, between about 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago, where they were found in Eastern and Southern Africa. Now let's talk about Homo habilis. The name Homo habilis means handy man or handy woman in Latin. We'll get to that in a bit. First, let's talk about their brains. Homo habilis had a smaller brain than Homo erectus, but they were still pretty smart. They used simple stone tools for cutting, chopping, and scraping. These tools weren't very fancy, but they were really useful and helped our ancestors survive. Homo habilis probably got pretty good at using these tools, but they weren't the first tool makers. That title probably goes to Homo erectus, but some scientists think Homo habilis may have been the first to make and use tools in Africa. That's pretty neat. Okay, now let's talk more about their brains. They had a brain size of about 600 to 800 cubic centimeters, which is smaller than the average human brain today. But don't let that fool you. They were still pretty smart and capable. They probably had a similar level of intelligence to modern humans without smartphones, if you know what I mean. What's interesting is that Homo habilis lived during a time when the Earth was changing a lot. The continents were moving, the climate was shifting, and new plants and animals were evolving. Our ancestors had to be pretty adaptable to survive all those changes. Now, despite their small brain size, Homo habilis were pretty successful. They spread out across Africa and lived there for hundreds of thousands of years. Eventually, they gave rise to other species of Homo, like Homo ergaster and Homo erectus, who would go on to have even bigger brains and change the world. So the next time you're re-feeling down because you queue on, remember where you put your keys or your wallet. Just remember that Homo habilis had a smaller brain than you and still managed to use tools and survive. Maybe it's not all about the size of the brain after all. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time. If you enjoyed learning about Homo habilis, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and tell me what you found most interesting about these ancient ancestors. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more fun science videos. Until next time, keep thinking big and keep learning. See you later.